Hello, my name is Mark Fritz and I work for the Ohio Agribusiness Association. I am the Outreach Coordinator for the 4R Certification Program here in Ohio, which is a voluntary certification program for fertilizer dealers and crop consultants. This program uses third-party independent auditors to certify that 4R practices are indeed being used and documented. As you may know, the four R's are a way of thinking about nutrient management in crop production and refer to applying fertilizer and manure nutrients using the right source at the right rate at the right time and in the right place. So today I'm going to talk briefly about applying fertilizer and manure in the right place. For a variety of reasons, nutrient levels, primary, primarily nutri nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, are not uniform across a field. Differences in soil types, yield levels, and previous nutrient applications within the field often result in widely fluctuating nutrient levels in different areas of the field. So it is important that nutrients are applied only in those areas of the field where they are needed. Application of nutrients where they are not needed is not only an unnecessary expense for the farmer, but also can result in movement of those nutrients from the field into surface and or groundwater. So how do we do this? One common technique is to test the soil, soil using GPS, Global Positioning Satellite Technology. This is done on the basis of soil type or yield zones or small two to three acre grids. The soil test results are then placed on a map and that information is electronically provided to a specialized variable rate fertilizer or manure applicator that applies nutrients only in those areas of the field where they are needed. Another aspect of applying nutrients in the right place refers to the placement of nutrients in the rooting zone, in other words, below the surface of the soil, where they are readily available to crop roots for uptake into the plant. In general, nutrients applied on the surface of the soil are more prone to movement off the field during heavy rainfall events, and this is something that we try to avoid. If surface application is used, it is best to apply on a growing crop, whether that be during the growing season on the cash crop or off season into a cover crop. Cover crops are planted after harvest of the cash crop and are not intended for harvest. Their function is to absorb any available nutrients that were not used by the cash crop and to improve the structure and health of the soil. Both of these two techniques, GPS soil sampling and nutrient application, and applying nutrients either below the surface of the soil or onto a growing cash or cover crop, maximize the nutrients that are available to the growing crop and also minimize nutrient movement from the field to surface or groundwater. We in agriculture have the great privilege of helping to feed a rapidly growing world population and also of minimizing environmental impacts. The beauty of the four R's, applying nutrients using the right source at the right rate at the right time and in the right place, is that they help us to meet both of these very important responsibilities. Thank you.